Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to test out some of Mario's makeup. Makeup by Mario's makeup. I got the two eyeshadow palettes, the Master Eye Prep and Set, a brush, and a Master Crystal Reflector in the shade Bronzite. So I'm going to play with these today. I'm going to do some swatches. I will compare the mattes and the metallics quickly with Natasha Denona's formula because some people said it's comparable. So I was curious to do that and uh, show you. And I am going to create free looks today. So if you want to see how the shadows and everything perform and how I created both free looks, please keep on watching. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and also to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to click the little bell right here, as always, <laughs> uh, if you don't want to miss out on any new uploads. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I like the packaging. Very simple, slick, you know. No fuss. It's the same packaging for both palettes. Here is the master mats. So let's take a look at what he says on his website. It retails for 64 Canadian dollars. You get 12 universal matte shadows. Each delivers a smooth, luxurious, highly blendable color inspired by human skin tone. I like that the shadows have like simple names. This is matte one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, it's nothing complicated. And you get 12 times one gram. So one gram per shadow. I'm going to show quickly the um, Master Metallics, which looks way prettier in person, I found, than um, what you see on uh, well, Sephora's website, on the photos, basically. And I purchased the E4 brush, so we're going to Play with it as well. Then I got the Master Eye Prep set. I got the shade light and I'm a bit scared maybe I should have gotten the shade medium. We'll make it work. Uh, it has three shades. It has light, medium and deep I believe. But I, I like that you can like customize the color here so it matches really perfectly or if you want something a bit lighter to brighten and then you get the, the powder to set. Then I got the Master Crystal Reflector. When you see the videos, they're actually really pretty. They're really, like the lighting is perfect like because it's filmed in the dark and like pff, the, the light on the girl's face. Super beaming and shiny and sparkly. And I got the shade Bronzite or Bronzite, I don't know how you say that. But on the video, he applies it on the girl's lid by itself. Looks really pretty. Okay, let's uh, start with swatches. Feels very soft. He says on his website that it's the very first formula he developed for makeup by Mario. These are his ride or die shades, uniquely shaded and inspired by human skin tones from light to deep. This custom professional matte formula has a Fever like creamy feel and applies evenly with medium buildable and blendable coverage. My favorite thing about this formula is that it offers a superior grip and adherence with minimal fallout to achieve the cleanest application. This is the ultimate timeless matte palette. Okay, so these are the 12 shades of the matte palette. I have a feeling this is a formula that is going to be buildable, super easy to blend. Yeah, let's swatch quickly uh, Natasha Denona formula and once again it's not the, the same price range it's just uh, I heard the comparison in store so I am curious so I'm just gonna go in the the Biba palette and here actually I'm gonna put them side by side same vibe for colors same same family looks like the baby you know <laughs> I'm gonna do prairie cocoa tusk I don't know why I used this finger. Okay, well, let's do another one. <laughs> Seed. Not too far, actually. Tiny bit more pigmented, maybe. But not too far, not too far. Feels maybe slightly more buttery, but okay. And often, you know, swatches, it doesn't mean much. You have to see how it performs on the eyelid. I'm gonna swatch the metallics on the other arm. Once again, super, whoa, my 
magnetic closure. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look again. Super pretty, I think. It looks way prettier in person. Oh wow, well, that's impressive. This one is kind of duochrome. So for this, it says, The Master Metallics palette is inspired by colors found within our bodies and represents my love of human nature. These creamy shadows deliver a range of chromatic effects from natural to intense with high impact shine. Second row. Wow, look at that olive. Guys, okay, so far very impressive. And for this, I think he says it's a mix of powder and oil. Very pigmented. The Lux formula can be used dry or wet to achieve a light wash of color or full coverage shine. I love applying this shadow with my fingers to achieve a beautiful intensity. For more detailed application, I use the E4 brush to pat and build the shadow. Super pretty. And I think it's inspired from like the, the colors of human cells, like when they're looked uh, in the microscope, if I'm not mistaken, something like this. I think it's pretty cool, it's a nice concept. Oh, and you get 12 beautiful metallic shades. Some of them are a bit more sparkly than others. That's Natasha Denona formula. Let's do it next to the gold here. Not far, guys, not far at all, like formula-wise. Let's swatch quickly this little guy here in the shade Bronzite. Feels a bit more chunky, which is not a bad thing. So that's how it looks on my finger. Wow. And let's put it here. Beautiful top coat. Not sure I could use it as a highlighter because it's a bit glittery, but pretty. Okay, well, let's try that master eye prep and set. This is the shade light once again. And this cost 37 Canadian dollars. So hopefully that's a good idea to try these new eyeshadows on this new base. Oh, it feels very, very creamy. So the lightest shade is going to be too light, so I'm going to mix it with this one. That looks good. And I guess if you wanted, you could also get a darker shade if you want to have a darker base, you know? It blends very nicely on the eyelid. Let's try the lighter one under the brow bone. Well, it cancels the little veins very nicely, has a nice coverage, and it's not um, making my eyelid or this part like dry. Sometimes I find when I put uh, concealer, it looks a bit dry. Doesn't seem to be the case here. I probably could have used the medium one too, but this works. Especially because I'm still a little bit tan. And then I'm going to set it. All right, and it's good for touch-ups too, so we'll maybe see that later. But so far, I like this product. That's very nice, and it's something uh, unique in my collection. I don't have something like this. Like a hole-in-one kit. All right, so let's start with the matte palette. Well, I'm gonna start with the shade number four. The mirror is really nice too. Well, so far it's blending really, really nicely. Now I am picking up this shade, number seven, and I am slowly like starting to intensify, sorry, the outer corner. and drag the rest into the crease. Just to bring dimension slowly. Very easy to build up. It would have been nice <laughs> for those of you who may buy both palettes that it would have been nice if you could have popped the shadows and create your own palettes, you know? Maybe something uh, to think about for the future. But so far, very pleasant to work with. I'm gonna pick up this color now. Get things a bit smoky. 
it's blending really really nicely really nicely I'm not like really working too hard here because I'm going to cover it with uh, a metallic shade and look how it's blended here like no problem All right, I'm gonna pick up a bit of this shade number three And why not this one? Right, right under the gravel. To the highlight. On the lower lash line, quickly, I'm gonna go to this shade. Quickly doing the lower lash line with the same shades, basically. And I'm gonna go to that, I don't know if it's black, it looks like, it might be a black. Wow, look at how it smoked that look right away. Alright. Right, whatever is left on the brush, I'm gonna put in the inner third. We're playing, guys. It's the first time I'm playing with this palette. I find it really user-friendly. It's super easy to use. A bit more of that black on the lower lash line. And of course, you could leave the look matte and add a bit more of a lighter shade in the center or like a nice brown. But we're gonna play with the metallics. Okay. So far, this performs really, really well. Nicely done. Now, I really want to try this one. This one is so beautiful. So let's do it. And I'm gonna use my finger for this. So that's the number four, metallic four. Oh, look at that, okay. And no fallout so far. Okay. One layer. Second layer. Boom. Look at that. Stunning color. Stunning. For something a bit more precise, I'm gonna try is E4 brush. Pick up the same shade on a dry brush first. We'll see if I spray it after. I'm gonna just blend a tiny bit here. And on the other side, let's play with another color. Why not? Let's play with that olive green. So pretty. Oh, I love that. So it's nice because here you can see you can do the same base but then totally change the look depending on the shade you use for the metallic. That olive shade is stunning, stunning. I love, love it and I think it speaks for itself. You don't need to add too much. You could add something on top but oh, we might do that just to play but you really don't need to. What I'm gonna do quickly on the other side, I'm going to darken the inner corner and the outer corner. For the inner corner, I'm gonna pick up this shade from the matte palette. Just a tap on the brush, just a tap on the pad. Just to give a bit more dimension. And just to see how the matte on top of the metallic. I'm going to take his brush, I'm gonna go back to that blue, but I'm gonna spray the brush. And let's see if it gets even more sparkly or intense or metallic. Oh yeah, the color. Okay. 
way more metallic, almost wet look. Um, but I lost a bit of the glitter, I would say, a tiny bit, not much, but a tiny bit. So I'm going to go on the other side, pick up more of that shade again. That's gorgeous. So pretty. I haven't played with colors like this for a while. In the inner corner for this eye, I'm going to pick up that shade. Pretty. I wonder if it could be a pretty highlight too, actually. I'm going to add a tiny bit of that, that shade here, just to warm up a tiny bit. Wow. Very pretty in a corner highlight. For the other side, same. And the yellow one. You know what, for kicks, I love it like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add a tiny bit of this. In the oh, in the center. Very lightly, because I don't want to lose the green. I just want a tiny bit more glitters, and I have a feeling this one has a tiny bit more glitter. Nice, okay. Okay, I'm gonna smoke out maybe a tiny bit more the lower lash line, the outer corner, put some eye pencil, mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, and these are the two looks done. I really like both. I love this one. I feel like this is so soft. It's nice for fall. This is a bit more intense, but at the same time, I think easy to wear. Like it's just not, it's a nice, like smoky eye. But I really love that, that olive shade here. And with that little pop of gold in the center, it's really, really nice. I feel like those inner corner shades work beautifully as a inner corner highlights. Let's see actually on the bra bone. Right there, why not? Very nice too. Very nice. So, so far, really happy. I think um, both palettes and the base, maybe the base too, performed really really well so yeah I'm gonna snap some photos and I think I'll do another look using this shade yeah but what do you guys think which look do you prefer this one this one I think I love this one I, I do love this one I think it's so soft the formula for the matte super super easy to work with very beginner friendly uh, you you can't pack too much at once blends beautifully very easily and it builds up really well too so yeah i really like the mats i think it's something super easy to travel with because it's not too big you know it's compact depending on your skin tone or if you're a makeup artist too it's maybe something nice to have in your collection especially if you have to travel with the kit you know very often it's heavy not really like the mattes and so far i am really liking the metallics i think everything performs really well dry or wet uh, this shade here is stunning i think it's so beautiful it gives you that very special uh, smoky eye moment and this green is everything i think it's so pretty it's super soft uh, it can be sultry it can be very nice for an evening nice for fall quickly let's take the phone and for the flashlight oh here just a pick with the flashlight I love, love that shade. This palette is so good. So good, guys. <laughs> and 
here, once again, I added a tiny bit of that dark shade in the outer corner and on the lower lash line to smoke it out. And it's a perfect shade to smoke out a look. So, okay, I'm gonna take that off and I'm going to do a third look. All right, so I quickly put the eye primer. I did not set it with a powder, but I used the powder on top of my concealer and it works really well too, so. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna see how uh, things blend if I don't set with the powder. I'm gonna start with the shade, the crease. And I'm going to intensify it with this one. I'm using a Sonia G Blender Pro brush. Well, it's blending really nicely on top of a base that is not set. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. I'm working fast here. I think I'm gonna go to this shade. I think it's beautiful for fall. Same brush. Starting like packing on in the outer corner. Doing like little swirling motion into the crease. And also far guys, I'm really impressed with those mats. I'm gonna go in the inner corner, pack it on there. So fast, so fast. I've been filming for four minutes. Love that color, beautiful. I'm gonna go to this shade. Well, so far I am loving this. I'm quickly going to pick up that shade and apply it on the lower lash line. For you don't mind, I kept the mascara and the liner. That's a Sonia G Pencil Pro Brush. Intensify the outer corner here. Picking up a tiny bit of a dark brown here. Create some dimension. It's working so great, guys. Whatever is left, boom, right there. And in the center, I'm going to put this one. On the lower lash line. Going back to the metallic one and I'm gonna pick up a bit of this shade with my finger, pop it in the inner corner. I wonder if this would be like a, ooh, oh, no, that was intense. I wonder if it would be a pretty highlight. Actually I might try that. I have to add a tiny bit of concealer. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Not the best, but not bad. Forgot to turn on my light on the left this whole time. <laughs> uh, so of course you could leave the the look full matte, just maybe with the bright inner corner. I love it. Uh, I think it's super pretty for fall. But I want to play with the Master Crystal Reflector. 
Um, that's a highlighter in the shade Bronzite. It's a bit of a cushiony formula. And this is how it looks on the finger. It looks so pretty. And I'm going to pop that in the center of the eyelid. Super pretty. So I'm going lightly first. Here you have a matte or this. That's lovely. So nice. We want to buy the the other shades. So pretty. I'm gonna take my flashlight. All right. I'm gonna put something on the lips. Add a bit more mascara, and I'll be right back. All right. And that is the finished look. I really like it. I think it's super pretty for fall. Very easy, guys. Like the matte, I just like have a feeling I was like, like going so fast. Uh, not very concerned about like working too hard to blend. And uh, yeah, I think it's so pretty. That um, highlighter here, bronze it on top of those matte shadows, performed beautifully. So nice. Yeah, I'm really pumped. I might get the two other shades because it's it's really, really nice. And I'm on my lips because I know you're going to ask me. I'm wearing the Lisa Eldridge uh, Velvet Phone Lipstick. I think it's perfect with that eye look. Very monochromatic. And I like it very much. <laughs> so what can I say so far? I think... I didn't get the whole collection and uh, I think it's so far for what I've tried it's a very good quality I think the price is is right uh, it's not too expensive I like that it's something that is easy to transport maybe some of you won't be super happy to have like a full like metallic palette and then a full matte palette that's why it would have been like nice to have little holes to pop you know the shadows and kind of like play and create your own palettes with with those but honestly I am happy I don't have many like full matte eyeshadow palettes on an everyday basis I like to wear a full matte look I think it's super nice super pretty and then you can have so much fun with those metallic shades I think they're beautiful I like the concept behind it like actually that you find all of these colors in our cells I believe when you look at them uh, under a microscope I think it's a it's a cool idea it's a cool concept and because of that probably it will look good on everybody uh, they're like surprisingly not too hard to wear like I'm not sure how to explain that I'm not expressing myself very well but it's just like that intense teal here it looks beautiful for a smoky eye like this will be gorgeous as like a full like gunmetal eye look I'm looking forward to play with these shades uh, that one is gorgeous the the green the olive green eye look I created I love it so much I'm going to recreate it because I, I want to wear it and uh, this well I'm gonna rock it right now I really really enjoy um, this little trio here i think this is genius you have everything in one you can brighten and actually you can you can use this as a concealer as well oh my baby's crying time to finish you can come i think you can use this as a concealer as well it, it worked i kind of like quickly fixed it and uh yeah and you can set your concealer with this as well but for this look i did not set the lid with the powder and the shadows perform beautifully no problem to blend it and then the brush was really good to pack on that metallic shade 
I'm really happy with this purchase. I think uh, it's a great launch for Mario. Uh, he's a very talented makeup artist. I like his personality because I think he's not too show off. He's always very posy, we say in French. He's calm, he explains really well. You can feel that he's really, he's truly passionate about uh, makeup. And uh, he didn't take a huge, you know, in French we say, il n'a pas pris le melon. He is still, you know, very down to earth. So I appreciate him. I appreciate him as an artist and I really like his his makeup. So I'm obviously I'm curious to try more. You know, I have to be careful with my mama's budget. But so far I'm really really happy. I'm really impressed with what, what I've tried today. I like the matte eyeshadow palette, I like the metallics, I I like everything. So and no point for me once again. I I'm a small YouTuber here. I'm just doing this mostly for pleasure uh, and for the love of makeup and just, you know, chit chat with you and share my thoughts. But yeah, I think it's it's great. So if you can uh, get this during the sales, even better. I got this with 15% off because uh, I had a thousand points I could redeem and get 15% off. Uh, I think this is over, but hopefully Sephora will... Uh, bring it back because I think it's a it's a nice way to redeem your points instead of like another like mini cream or another you know mini sample of something. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video that you found it helpful and also inspiring and uh, let me know down below what you think about this launch what did you get thank you so much for watching once again, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.